I grew up in Philadelphia. We were five kids, and my father was a police officer who died in the line of duty. We were very young. I just grew up with simple things, just wanting a job and a family. It wasn't a dream that, oh, I wanted to go to Hollywood or and I wanted to be a casting director. Your life does influence anything that you do. You, you have to draw on those experiences. Otherwise, you're not being truthful. One more time, less fake when you're coming back to the girl. Okay, here we go, and action. Lee is really big on casting real people and capturing real moments. I will go to showcases, I will go to plays. Sometimes I even visit people's acting schools. For some roles, I'm heavy on social media in terms of like Twitter and uh, Instagram. People just wanna see things that they can identify with. Oh, renew, yes, congratulations, second season. Yeah. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right. When we did Precious, I got a lot of emails on my website about how they could identify with that character and all that that character went through. When you do something that they can identify with and know that they can rise above it, that is definitely rewarding. When people say Empire changed the way casting was done and the way television was, I think a certain culture just spoke. Give me your hand. Give me your hand, boy. The casting was definitely a very important part of Empire because you had to create this world that people would buy into. For casting the boys, we had trouble finding two actors that could really sing, so we had to open it up to rap. When I first saw Yaz on tape, I'm like, he's raw, but he had these moments. What makes somebody like a natural and versus a non-natural is not being aware of the camera when you're acting and just getting lost in that. And that's what he was able to do. He wasn't as polished, so there were some things he just didn't know. So his second audition ever was reading with Terrence. And the way Terrence just took to him right away. You need to get your act together. You gonna pull out a phone when I'm talking to you? It was like the perfect moment. It was like father and son. You could see the television show in front of you unfolding. And I was like, oh, this is the guy. It's him. It's without a doubt him. It sounds so stupid and so cliche, but I call them Cinderella stories. You know, those things happen very few and far between. It happens a lot with us. <laughs> with our casting because we're always looking for real and authentic people. And thank God we can do that, you know what I mean? Thank God we can change people's lives and make dreams come true. Y'all, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to our channel right now.